As someone who covers politics every day, I seldom get the privilege of seeing pure political emotion. Phony outrage, phony sincerity, phony humility, these you see all the time. But genuine passion is rare. Uh, today, however, uh, we came across a jaw-dropping Verdi aria of a speech by a Republican candidate, a man named Phil Davison, um, a speech that practically bled with raw, gut-churning passion that definitely could not have been faked. Uh, Kent Jones is here. He has seen it. Uh, Kent, surely mm. Phil Davison's speech was rewarded with a victory, right? I mean, passion counts, doesn't you, it? You'd think that, but yeah. no. Oh, okay. Phil Davison is, did not get to be the Republican nominee for Stark County Treasurer. However, nothing can diminish the Hall of Fame quality of this speech. Prepare to be amazed. This is amazing. Amazed. Ladies and gentlemen of the Stark County Republican Party Executive Committee, good evening. And thank you not only for your attendance, but for allowing me the opportunity to speak. My name is Phil Davison, and I am seeking our party's nomination for the position of Stark County Treasurer on November 10th, November of 2010, excuse me. In terms of my background, I am from the village of Minerva, where I am serving my 13th year as a of elected service as a Minerva Council member. In terms of education, I have a bachelor's degree in sociology, a bachelor's degree in history, a master's degree in public administration, and a master's degree in communication. In terms of elections across Stark County, I have represented our party twice on the county ballot in both the primary and the general elections. When I ran for Stark County Clerk of Courts in 1996 and Stark County Commissioner in 2000, and I will not apologize for my tone tonight. I have been a Republican in times good, and I have been a Republican in times bad. Albert Einstein issued one of my most favorite quotes in the history of the spoken word, and it is as follows. In the middle of opportunity, Excuse me, in the middle of difficulty lies the opportunity. I'm going to repeat that so I have clarity tonight. In the middle of difficulty lies opportunity. This is the opportunity we've been waiting for. The Stark County Treasurer's Office is a mess. It is in dire need of structure and guidance. And now is the time to seize this opportunity with an aggressive campaign and an even more aggressive campaigner. If nominated tonight, I promise each and every person in this room, I will hit the ground running, come out swinging, and end up winning. Drastic times require what? Drastic measures, yes! Who said that? Thank you! Drastic times require drastic measures. Infestation. We must win this election. If nominated tonight, I will win this election. And I'm going to say that again, so there's no miscommunication tonight. If nominated tonight, I win. Tell your friends, tell your neighbors, tell Randy Gonzalez. I'm coming. If nominated tonight, I can guarantee with 100% certainty that what you are seeing from me tonight is what everyone outside those doors is going to get over the next eight weeks. Government may be about service. Politics is about winning. Tonight, as a candidate seeking the Republican nomination for the position of Stark County Treasurer, I humbly ask for your vote as members of the Stark County Republican Party Executive Committee. Thank you. He, did, he didn't win? Uh -uh. No, he didn't get it. Infestation! Woo! 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 <laughs> Thank you, Kent. <laughs> Woo! Woo! Coming up on Countdown! Keith interviews the... I can't calm down now. <laughs> Keith interviews the co-author of Stephen Hawking's new book in which he says the creation of the universe did not need God. Uh, but first, on this show, very, very, very rich people in politics ought to be better at buying fake crowds to represent their views. Cheap, rich guys. Exposed! Next! God!